Hey guys, on today's video we're going to be looking at Disney Plus, so let's just go right into your app store. This is the same instructions whether you guys have an iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch, by the way. So, once we're in your app store, let's go right into search. Once you guys hit search, just type in Disney Plus. Our second option should say Disney Plus, so just go right into it and just press on get. So we're going to download the app, that's the very first thing we're going to do. It's going to be pretty quick, it's a pretty small app, it's not that huge. So you're looking at maybe two minutes in order to download it for most of you. Others with faster internet, sure, it could be a minute or a couple of seconds. Once the app has downloaded, we can go ahead and tap on open. Right down here, you're going to see try now. So let's just tap on try now. Going to sign up with our email. Then it's going to ask us to choose a password. And after that, it will ask you if you guys want the year or the monthly, then you just have to confirm with your touch ID or passcode. After that, you guys will see this screen. It's just gonna load up and we can add profiles into your account. So I'm gonna teach you how to add profiles since you guys are most likely right there. Anyways, let's just go back. So on my bottom right hand side, I'm gonna see profiles. And most of you might see a screen where it says add a profile. So right now I have three profiles already set up. However, to add any other profile, I can just tap up here on that profile. I can choose any icon and type in a name. If I want this to be for my kids and keep it kid friendly, then I can just turn this on. I can turn off or on autoplay. That depends. I always suggest just going to autoplay just so you don't have to click for the next episode. It's just going to automatically play the next episode. And right now I'm just going to put kid for this one. You guys can put any name you like. Right now I'm going to put safe. And there we go. I have four profiles. Once it is safe for kids. So if I go right into it. I'm going to see everything that's kid friendly. If I want to switch any profile. I can just tap down here below. On the bottom right hand side. And I can switch up to my own profile. And I'm going to see different content because this is everything, not just kid friendly content. From here, if there's anything specific you want to search, there is the search down here below, which is our second option. So we can type in anything, any movie that you guys like to watch, or we can just go back home and explore each one. So for example, if you click on Disney right now, we're going to see all the movies plus originals from Disney. And if I want to go back, I can just tap on home, for example takes me back, I can tap on Pixar and see the content here. It's going to be another ton of content. I can always scroll to see more, more. I can go back home. Same goes for Marvel. Scroll down. I can scroll to the sides to see more and more. Go back home. Star Wars. Same deal. I can scroll down, see what's up. Scroll through. Go back home. And National Geographic. Same deal. I can scroll through. Scroll to the side to see view, view more, view more, view more, view more, and I can always go back to home. If you guys would like to download anything, so let's just go right into Star Wars. Right now, if I want to download this episode, this entire season, I can. On the right hand side, you will see those arrows. That's to download. So if I can tap on that arrow, it's going to start downloading that chapter. So if I go into downloads down here below, I can see right there so it's downloading in progress right now when it's fully downloaded i can see all my downloads right here and i can also take off my downloads and delete them at any time so let me just go back into home i'm gonna stop this download i can remove the download or just pause it for now but in this case i'm just gonna remove it there we go all right, so that will take up space on your iPhone iPod Touch if you download anything. You do not need to download, by the way. You can stream anything without downloading. So if I tap on here, I can go ahead and resume because I already started watching that. I can go here, just press play and go ahead. Anyways, that's it for this quick tutorial. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write it down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.